How's it going guys? It's Sean again with Virtual Gladiators. I am uh, doing a video today about how to install mod packs onto your server. So uh, I'm getting a lot of questions about this and uh, hopefully this video will help you guys out. So let's start by going into the browser. And uh, hopefully by now you guys have this in your bookmark. I always like to save the multi-craft in my bookmark. It just makes everything easier. And then Google Chrome saves my password and stuff. So that's awesome. Um, all right. So log in. Uh, choose which server uh, you'd like to install a mod pack on. Then you're going to go down to the mod pack right here. Now, <clears throat> how this usually works is... is uh, you uh, the the best way to go about doing it would be to stop the server uh, once the server is at a full stop and you see a little X right here in a gray circle you're going to uh, come down here and basically just click on this drop down menu and it shows all of the uh, different mod packs that Virtual Gladiator has now if you see a mod pack on here that you like and it's not in here um, what you need to do is you need to shoot us a, a support ticket and uh, or contact us through live chat. We'll see if we can track it down and add it to the list. But uh, all you got to do is, I, I'm not going to do it on my server. It'll change my jar file and it'll mess up the server. But uh, go through here. You click on one of the mod packs you want. Then once it's highlighted right here, as you can see, mine is Tech at Infamy. Um, shows the version of the of what tech, which infamy it is, what version of infamy it is, and then it shows the MC version, which is 1.5.2. Now I've never it says contact support before changing this. I'm going to be truthful. I've never had to contact support when I changed it because it actually will when you select it from up here more times than not I've seen it automatically change it for you right here. Um, if it doesn't, then yes, you would have to contact support. You can just click the support link. It'll bring you right to uh, su the submit a ticket spot. So, uh, yeah, that's basically all you do. Just click it. drop. It'll drop it down. Select your mod pack. Once you confirm that it's right here as well, you're just going to hit save. Once it saves, come back up and hit start or restart. And uh, it'll take a little bit longer just because it has to build the mod pack, download the Minecraft version, and all that good stuff. But uh, once it goes green, you should be set and ready to go. I know this is a uh, very short video, um, but as I said before, a lot of questions asked, and uh, I'm definitely happy to help you guys. So, um, Also, don't be shy on letting us know, maybe in a support ticket, maybe let one of us know that, hey... I've I've been seeing Sean's videos and I really want to see um, this specific thing and kind of mention to us what kind of tutorial you might you know you might want to be seeing on the site you know thoughts and suggestions always work especially from our clients um, we always like to hear feedback good positive feedback and also uh, constructive criticism any anything that helps the company grow and it helps you guys grow as well within your server so. Again, I'm going to end this video with uh, letting you know, make sure if you have any questions or concerns, um, submit a support ticket or uh, contact us on live chat if we are available on live chat. And uh, I will see you guys on the next video. I hope this helps. Take it easy, guys.